Hey. Hello. <laughs> Good afternoon. Hi. Hey guys, this is Lisa Kwashnik with Kavanaugh along with Christopher and Sean. Um, and we're coming to you with... Um, a plight. Yeah. A, 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 we need help. We need uh, voices. We need people to come forth for to increase our voice with the city and the state as far as the tiny house program goes. I mean, it's housing for homeless veterans that are on the street. Um, I personally was in a tent on the on the Arcade Creek, and it was a life changing experience. It was it was a chance to to be somebody rather than to be invisible. And and we need they're trying to shut it down. You know, it's 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 a real shame. So we need. We need people to to make our voice louder than what it is. That <laughs> I couldn't say it any better. So here's what's happening. Uh, Christopher, Sean, and I are sitting in front of one of the tiny houses. And as you know or may not know if you're uh, seeing us for the first time, the tiny houses are built by high school students in their construction classes. Uh, Kavanaugh donates the materials to build them. And um, in return, the students in their construction classes are learning the proper way of framing, how to hang windows and doors. Vocational skills. It Good vocational skills. Yes, yep. exactly. And they they are they are established in the construction field by giving a job opportunity through the high school. Yeah. You know when they graduate the program yeah. and all that's going to go away. Yeah. And that, that that can't happen, people. We can we can't allow that. Yeah. So what has happened is um, code enforcement, um, we came under code enforcement's radar, and, and I get it, neighbors, you know, are a little bit nervous about having this in their neighborhood, and, and that's what happened, a neighbor complained, so code enforcement was out here today, and they are telling us that we have to deconstruct um, the three tiny houses, two of them are occupied. They told us we have 30 days to kick the to remove them out, out yeah, to, to kick them to the curb. Mm -hmm. And and I mean that's that's, that, that's just it. breaking my heart. You know, if, if if this is a heart issue, it's not it's not a paperwork issue. It's it's a matter of bringing somebody that served the country, went to Afghanistan, could have died, should have died. And now, and then we bring him in, and Kavanaugh puts him into a dwelling that is above par. And now to have to remove them from that and put them back on the street, it, it just, man, it grieves me. It, it seriously grieves me you know, that, then, that our country has degressed that much. And then not only that, too, you got to look at the point that where, where a lot of us come from. A lot of us come from, not everybody, but a lot of vets are homeless. You know, and that's that's the fight that we're trying to get through. We're trying to get what we can off the streets yeah. because we all served our time for, for our, our our world, our yeah. country. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now when you have to put two people back on the street where, you know, they, 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 they thought that they had cool housing. Yeah. You got to put them on this. We got to put them back on the streets in 30 days. And that's not right. No, that's not right at all. Yeah. We go through housing. We go through a lot of things just to get the things that we have. And we go through a lot of stuff. But now it's like, why are we going through this stuff now? Because the code enforcement is, is what it is, it's the department's not working together yes. to help the homeless problem that we have. Yeah. A lot of people on the streets right now are homeless, right? A lot of those people are veterans, people that have been to wars, and they don't want to be back out there in another war again. Mm -hmm. I know I don't. So please. If you can, help us. Yeah. We're speaking to the city officials, okay? All you city officials, you need to climb aboard. You need to really back us up. Mm -hmm. You know, um, it's it's one thing to say it, but it's another thing to do it. Yeah. You know, we need actions, not just words. Yeah. But we need actions, we need that, actions. That, that speak louder than any word. Yeah. 
So what's happening, um, code enforcement came today and they told us um, again that we have to deconstruct these tiny houses and what that means is they're asking us to turn them into sheds um, where someone does not sleep. So they're asking us to remove the sheetrock that the students, that the youth put up. They're asking us to uh, remove the lighting that the students um, put up and they're asking us to turn them into garden sheds. So move out the veterans and move in your um, your tools, your shovels, and your uh, dehumanize wheelbarrows and yeah. um, things like that. And and um, our grudge is not with code enforcement. They are only doing their job. They are trying to follow. Um, the letter of the law, but there's a difference between the letter of the law and the spirit of the law behind it. We understand that there are codes and regulations in place, um, safety measures, um, but there's a spirit behind um, the law too, and it's a moral code. Um, these are lives. These are yeah, real lives. That are going to be adversely affected. Mm -hmm. I mean, because they're, they're, they came from a background of of being in a homeless shelter, you know, and then to have light at the end of the tunnel being placed into a Kavanaugh County House, it, it, it's light at the end of the tunnel, you know, you're no longer in a tunnel even. And then to be forced back into that uh, homeless environment because of some silly rule uh, that just, that, that or can't be. Or neighbors complained. <laughs> yeah, but that can't be. Yeah. Um, if, if if we could just get, I don't know what it needs to happen, but I know that if enough people get behind it, that's when change yeah. occurs. Yeah. So we need everyone's voice yeah. to count as one. And so what I'm going to do is um, we know that um, Mayor Steinberg had posted on his Facebook on Tuesday that he is um, endorsing. Yeah, endorsing and supporting um, tiny houses, micro houses, you know, all of these different uh, programs to be an answer to homelessness. And um, yep, we're Sorry. live. It's okay. <laughs> it's oh, happened. it's our founder. <laughs> <laughs> it's our founder, Jim. I'm going to answer this. So, hey, Jim. Um, hey, let him know he's on video. You're on video right now, Jim. We're, hey, we're, we're, we're doing we're. our Facebook plight to humanity. Hey, we're real here. So, so um, um, I, I'm going to continue the video. But So what we're going to ask um, you to do is to contact the mayor, let them know um, that you support Kavanaugh and the Tiny House Initiative. Um, contact our uh, city manager and I'll put their um, email addresses and phone numbers, you know, at the bottom of this link. Um, Let's take it to the highest level possible. Yeah. Let's get a hold of our state senators. Let's get a hold of everybody that holds a government yeah. office and get them on board and it takes us all working together and change is possible yeah. and will occur yeah um so let, let's all just climb aboard the Kavanaugh tiny house project yeah and and it's not part only, of it, it's the right thing to do yeah not you only know. for the for the Kavanaugh tiny houses because I know the mayor is looking at expanding this whole thing but at the same time, just tiny houses, period, for everybody. Yeah, yep, all for the people everybody. that are out there on the homeless street. Yep. Now, you guys say that you're doing this, this, and that, but the police is moving us around here. You know, when, when you get to one spot and you're there for a couple of days, the police move you to another spot. So they're shifting all the homeless people around this, this, this whole city of Sacramento, this whole, the whole state. So with your help, maybe we might get somewhere. That's yep. right. Yep. That's right. And that's what we're asking for. We're asking for your help. Yep. Just to to make our voice sound all the way to the Capitol. Yep. So that's what we need. Yep. And I'm going to add one little thing too, because I know that there are people, there were people that have asked us along the way, you know, um, what are the codes for this? And I know that there are people that have been kind of watching, you know, what it is that we're doing. And um, some might be feeling like, oh, see, I knew code enforcement might get involved. And in, you're right you win. Um, we knew that this was going to be a battle ahead of us that we were going to have to face. We were hoping it was going to be way ahead of us. Um, but it's a battle that we have today. But instead of saying, you know, like, oh, I knew it, you know, I'm right. Who wins in that? Not, not us. We don't, you know, you don't win. We don't win. Yeah. 
the only people are the losers and that's the veterans that um, we're being asked to give 30 days and and move out so um, you know even in that case if you would just call the mayor the city manager our senators our government there needs to be a way because code enforcement they're just doing um, their job they're doing their job and yeah. they can only do what's um, someone from above, above them has allows told them, them to, do. Yep. to do and so we're asking that uh, somebody get involved and for um, legislation to be bought up and changed for laws to be yep. for just anything any kind of policy that governs this homeless program that we have right now we need some type of change yep, yep. we really do and yep. who governs over all of that we the people that's right we the people are the ones that put them in their office yep so let's let's all if we all could just work together for yep. the greater good what a world we would live in yep not only that you got to think too how many of you have homeless family members or mm. friends that are here on the street by themselves and and you don't know you know you're worried about them and stuff look this situation here is it's it's beautiful and you know in, in, in the time and effort that's put into doing this stuff man it's a lot of money yeah. it's, it's, this is not a cheap thing to do but the Kavanaugh the, 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 the Kavanaugh um, uh, Tiny Home Program, what we have here, you got to take a picture around it. I know. Yeah, <laughs> I do. <laughs> what we have here is, 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 is awesome. It's really awesome. And, and true, everybody's deserving of this, but this program that we have right here right now is for veterans. Yeah. Yep. And I know everybody's got a little tiny spot in their heart for, for every vet that saved, that, that went to war and, and, and did all the things that they did. Yep. Yep. It's because of their sacrifices that we live in freedom. Yeah. That we're not speaking uh, German. We're not speaking Japanese. Um, I mean, they, they went to war and they died so that we can have freedom of choice. Yeah. And we can be making this video right now. Yeah. So um, yeah. it, it, I thank them, you know. And, and, Our First and, Amendment. And, and, yeah, and it's just... It, tear, it breaks my heart to have to ask two of them to, to go back to, to, I don't know if I can, where my next meal's coming from. Yeah. You know, because I, I was there too. And it, it just, it's, it's breaking my heart right now. Yeah. So, thank you for watching through the full time. Um, I'm going to post in the comments down below um, the different places that we can reach out to. If anyone knows an attorney that can help us out, if anybody has a family member in government or you yourself are in government, any, we're really asking for anybody. Everybody. Yep. Every voice counts. Yep. Every voice counts. Um, so we appreciate you listening the whole time and, um, We'll see you later. God bless everyone. Deuces. Deuces. <laughs> I always say that. Peace out. <laughs>